from the high stakes hospital drama of ER to the history of Lincoln, Emmy nominee Gloria Rubin elevates every project she's a part of. And now that includes the new series Elsbeth, where she stars as the wife of a police captain who's under Elsbeth's watch. Check this out. You don't think there's cause for a search of Margot's property? Based on what I've heard so far, not even close. But she was the last one to see Gabriel. He hasn't come home. You are talking about Gabriel Irwood, right? Elizabeth Tassioni, me and my wife, Claudia Payne. So nice to meet you. <laughs> I love your scarf, your earrings, your name, everything about you. <laughs> well, aren't you a slice of heaven? It's a pleasure. Oh, and slice of heaven, Gloria is with us now. Welcome back. Good to see you. Thanks. Great to see you too. It was so. It's so fun that you are part of this show now. I love this show. I'm just getting into Elsbeth. Mm -hmm. I just like caught up on the first three episodes. It's so cute. Um, but talk to us about your character, Claudia. I mean, is she as fabulous as Elsbeth thinks she is? Well, I like to think that Claudia yeah. is as fabulous <laughs> as Elsbeth. Elspeth thinks she is, but yeah, she is. I mean, she is very much a participant in life, and she's very generous, and she runs a foundation, and ah. she's very much in love with her husband, as, as uh, you know, as you will see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, Elspeth is kind of known for mixing things up, mm -hmm. kind of getting under people's skin, if you will. But she's so charming mm -hmm. in the way that she does it. So, what do you think that Claudia's first impression of Elspeth is? Well, I love that clip because it's a little bit like, oh my gosh, all the, all of these compliments coming from one person, and she's so bright. Her energy is so bright to begin with. It's yeah. a little bit like, oh well, aren't you a nice slice of heaven? Like, yeah. what is going on right here? <laughs> Not quite sure how to gauge. But you know, as soon as you look into Carrie's eyes, anyway, she's so genuine. She and is. That's the thing about Elspeth is that, you know, is that her quirkiness and her wittiness and it's her intelligence disarming. it's disarming and yet yeah. so gr like grounded in something real. Yeah. So it's it's really fun. I have to say that it's just so much fun to be on a fun light show yes, in a way. For sure. You know, don't get me wrong. I love the dramas, everything that I've been a part of. Yeah. But it's great it's to just kind of, of exactly it's a yeah. change of pace and yeah, it's yeah. great. It's a fun show. I find myself laughing at certain elements yeah. as well. And I love that yeah. unabashedly. I laughing. know. I was I was laughing too as I was watching it. Now, as far as the police department is concerned, mm -hmm. she's there to help. Right. But really, we know that she's there to watch over the department and your husband. Yes. So, do you think that Claudia might get entangled in that in some way, or like, is she up to something that could get her in trouble? Well, if she was up to something that could get her in trouble, I can't tell you. I know. Because <laughs> then that would destroy the surprise. But I just, you know, what I love about it is that Claudia has no idea. I mean, I hope that's okay. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, oh, this shoot. is what makes it hard. <laughs> it makes it hard know. to promote things it's when you can't so talk hard. about them. Well, well, let's talk about your husband. Then. Yes. Okay, Michael. so your husband is played by Wendell Pierce, yeah. which I, I adore him. And so he's... He, he said that he thinks that because you've joined the show, mm -hmm. we're going to get to see like the softer side of him mm -hmm. because of you. So what do you think that their partnership is like? Well, they've been, you know, married a long time. And so um, that comes with a lot of stuff. Yes, it a lot does. of love to be married for a long time, and you know, human beings can sometimes differ in opinions and experiences and what they yeah. want and what's important. However, um, even though I've known Wendell for a long time, our paths have crossed. We just it's the first time working together, and right from the day one, it was as if we were simpatico to oh, begin I love with. That. Our energy is very similar, and I do kind of. He's a sweet guy, but obviously the character is, is a little, a little bit tough. more, a little tough, and I do kind of sweeten him up a little bit. Oh, good. I know, and he's just so, he's so talented. The other day we were working on this scene together, and it was as if we had worked together for many, many years before. Yeah. It was just wonderful to be so creatively collaborative yeah. with an actor of, of that caliber and talent and sweetness himself. Yeah, and we're going to get to see that play out, too. But I yes. want to talk to you about um, Lincoln. Yes. Because you were in the movie. Yes. Uh, you are now, you're working with, you're writing a play about Elizabeth Keckley, who you played in the movie Lincoln. You're doing it with the Ford's Theater. How did this whole thing come about? Well, which is I where he was shot. Yes, exactly. Yeah. When I first portrayed Elizabeth Keckley in Lincoln, the story of her life, of who she was, where she came from, and how she excelled and became an entrepreneur and was hired by Mary Lincoln, stuck with me. Through yeah. all these years, I ended up writing a one-woman one -woman play about her. And during the strikes last year, I wrote everything. I wrote the synopsis for the screen. I wrote all of that. I had the whole story laid out. And I decided to expand the one-woman show into a two-hander. Yeah. Elizabeth Keckley and Mary. and Mary Lincoln, just the two of them, set in a very specific time, specific day, specific time of day, 
in the White House after President Lincoln is assassinated. That's all oh I'm going to say. God, I can't and Ford's wait commission for that. has has Ford's theater has commissioned the play. This is this is a dream of mine and has been for a long, long Long so time. when will you have to come back so we can yes, talk more about I would love it to. when it comes to fruition? Yes. Oh, yes. that's so exciting. So and you can catch Gloria on Elsbeth Thursday at 10 p.m. on CBS. And be sure to follow her on social for everything she's got going on. Where there's even more stuff that we didn't get to. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good to see you, Gloria. Good to see you too. Thanks. Yes. All right.